क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द परफॉर्मेंस पैरामीटर्स ऑफ द पावर एम्पलीफायर the performance parameters are the first one is circuit efficiency now the circuit efficiency is also called as a conversion efficiency now in voltage amplifier voltage gain is the main criteria but in case of power amplifier power gain is not main criteria the main criteria in power amplifier is how much amount of power is converted into the useful ac power and supplied to the load in power amplifier actually what happens it takes the power from the dc power supply which is connected at the output circuit and convert that power into the useful ac power so the ability of the amplifier to take the dc power and convert it into the useful ac power which is ultimately supplied to the load is called as a conversion efficiency or circuit efficiency the conversion or circuit efficiency is denoted by eta which is the ratio of maximum ac output power to the dc input power now this dc input power is taken from the dc supply which is connected in the output circuit then circuit efficiency depends upon two parameters the way in which the load is coupled to the transistor whether it is directly coupled or whether it is transformer coupled so based on that the circuit efficiency will change the second parameter is class of operation which power amplifier which class of power amplifier we are using that will decide its circuit efficiency the second parameter is distortion now distortion means basically in good amplifier what we expect that the output should be exact replica of input signal except amplitude so we can say that if the input and the output if there is no difference then that amplifier will produce the distortion less output but in actual practice it is always found that the output is not exactly same as that of input signal or we can say that the output is not faithful reproduction of the input signal so that is termed as a distortion now there are two distortions one is amplitude distortion and crossover distortion amplitude distortion is basically results due to non linearity of the transistor and because of that non linearity it will not amplify the output signal for entire input frequency and because of that the distortion takes place at the output the second reason is crossover distortion in crossover distortion both the transistors do not operate in phase with each other and because of that the second distortion that is crossover distortion takes place so basically distortion means if there is a difference between the output and the input signal then that is called as a distortion the third parameter is power dissipation capability the ability of the transistor to dissipate the heat is called as a power dissipation capability or power rating of the transistor in the power transistor excessive amount of current flows and due to that the large amount of the heat is dissipated now if the amount of the heat dissipated by the transistor is greater than the ideal power rating then the transistor is likely to burn out and hence to increase the power dissipation capability of the transistor we can connect a metal piece which is black in color probably and that piece is called as a heat sink so heat sink provides the large area for the heat that heat will flow from the transistor to the heat sink and from heat sink into the surrounding space so in this way we can increase the power dissipation capability 
power dissipation capacity of the transistor. Thank you friends for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda.